Hey, hi, hello, it's so good to see you. Uh, we are continuing the story. We are doing main missions today. We're gonna head back to Ilium. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do those side missions because I don't really wanna deal with Conrad again. Um, but we are going to meet two characters who I have no idea who they are, what they do, or how badass they're going to be. Uh, so we're gonna meet uh, Thane Krios, uh, the assassin, as well as Jusikar Samara, and then help out Liara. So uh, those are the three uh, ones that we are going to work on. And then we're, if we have time, and if it sounds good, then we're going to go rescue, uh, rescue. I mean, for my heart, I'm going to go rescue Tali. But yes, we're going to go get Tali. And then we're going to have a full crew. And then we'll have more loyalty missions. And then we'll upgrade the Normandy. And then we'll kill all the collectors. And then people will finally believe me that the Reapers are real. I'm fanbooking that last part, but you know. It could happen. Also, uh, in case you didn't watch any of the bonus features, um, I have done a ton of side quests. Like, so many. Like, ooh. like, like, so, 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 so many. Like, we cleared out the map. Like, wait, wait till you see it. We have Recruit Tali, and we have our main list. And look at, look at how clear it is. Look at how many little missions I have. All right, but anyway, we are going back to Ilium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I promise the tea that I have with me is non-caffeinated. I promise. So I shouldn't be getting too quirky on y'all. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Ilium, going back to Ilium to help out our ex or still the person that we're dating. I don't know. Are we still dating Liara? Do we still love Liara? I like Liara. We should probably talk about that. Probably a good thing to talk about. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Ferocia family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. Lucky I got out at all, for mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Excuse me, I'm on an important call. Oh, I thought he was talking to me. I'm like, what are you talking about, dude? But that, that makes more sense. Serena. That's who we talked to for Thane. All right, well, I guess we're getting Thane first because I don't know where else to go at the moment. Serena, who wants to know? Someone with questions, show some respect. Name's no. Name's Shepard. We're just gonna be snarky. Liara Sony said you might have information on Thane Krios. Gimme. Yep, that got her to stand Tana, right quick. cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Where the hell is he? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I'm not. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. Oh, she rat. fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Sneaky. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs, high tech killer, undisciplined but very Eclipse well equipped. Again. They don't much care who they kill as long as they're paid for it. Yeah, I'm he well has acquainted. Quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. I'm sure he's not. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable oh. of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's putting a uh, vague uh, face to a name. I remember it was, uh, it was in the embassy center, from what I remember. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers, penthouse level of Tower One. There's a second tower still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. Do you have access? It doesn't sound like Nasana is just going to let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I want it. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. 
He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and oh. he said he's doing this job on his own. That he oh. had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. What does Maybe that mean? he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help. No strings attached. You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. She does sound like a bitch. I love all the complicated characters. I love how they always come back and then there's just a little, 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 little nugget of, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Drama. Yeah, I like it. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Okay. Are they going to be... We know what Asari are like. We've been on teams of Asari. Is it going to be... Are we going to have more um, Turians? I probably... I doubt it's a Solarian. I doubt. Is it a human? I want to know. Again, I really like that I don't actually have to do the travel to all of these places. Towers are heavily guarded, and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. Of course. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? No. I'm just here to make sure he survives. Yeah. Hmm. Do you want to get pulled over? There they are, the Dante's Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. Uh. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. All right, let's do this. Hold on. So much drama. Hope they can't trace this car. Don't linger too long. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Fun time. Good luck, Shepard. Thanks. Oh, she knows who I am. Okay. Good start. Ow. Hi. I didn't understand that you were still alive. I'm so sorry. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. What the hell? I said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. Can we give this man some medical? He's not gel? going to make it if we don't help him. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. That's fine. Take your time. He might know a way to get up there, though. I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs Nissan's got? A lot, I'm a guessing. Lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nisana kill her own workers? Because she's a They're crazy one. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. Ugh. Well, that's messed up. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Now that I think about it, we have two really good people for this. Let's get moving. Garrus doesn't like this shit, and Jack wants to kill everything. Ah. 
Nice shot with that concussive shot, yo. Come here. Like I said, I think I brought a good group for this. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. Cussive shot. God, that's so attractive. Like, every time you do it. How we doing? Everybody good? Oh, God, she cracks me up. Do you? I feel like you're gonna need some friends. I wonder, I wonder who Thane is. I didn't want to say what Thane is. That sounds hey, really weird. Hey, he here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the Santa's not paying you to stand around. Fine, but I... Ugh. I think we're gonna meet Thane. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit balls. Oh shit balls. Oh shit balls. Oh shit balls. Ah! Uh, okay, we're good. There we go. Double shockwave goodness, I have to say. Yes. Nice. So did we hear in the vents? God, that concussive shot is seriously like the best thing ever. Okay. You suck. Impact event. Did you seriously say impact event when you when you got tossed into the air and then murdered? Because that's great. I'll light them up. Yes, come over here, Garrus, so you don't die. I swear to God, he has a death wish. We're gonna, we're gonna beat that out of you, okay? Just so you know. Oh, the work, the workers! Please, don't kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Yes. Yes. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. Definitely not. They're here to help us. Yes, right? I am. It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. No debts. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone. Not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Definitely. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. Yeah, she does. Treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Yes, it does. And I chomp hard. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Oh, well, man. Some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. All right, I'll keep an eye out. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. Okay. But I have no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Sounds good. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. Not mine She's either. Hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works us long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Also, but you you die if you stay. They're like, okay. Oh my god. Oh. It's not slavery, it's a gentle servitude. It's so Oh my god. I'm gonna kill the next person who kills me with semantics. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold too. I hate working up there. 
I wouldn't stay here too long. Bye, guys. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody. All right, so we're going to keep an eye out for maybe some more locked doors or people hiding. And tell your assassin to aim for her head, because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving. <laughs> oh, my God, this game is so smart. All right, we are good. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. I was just thinking the same thing myself, Garrus. Well, there's no lack of cover. Ebony, have a pleasant stay. On it. I'm on it. On my way. Taking heavy fire. Oh, shit. Okay. Nice shot. Nothing can stop you. I'm sorry, you were you were saying before you were trying to kill Garrus? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, wait, I did. I'll destroy you. There we go. Nice. GG. Well done. Also, do you like my bug? I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry. My team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Oh, honey, you're dead. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Bye-bye. We don't need any reinforcements. You don't. I'll take care of it. Yep. It's under control. I'll go down there myself. Turn around very slowly. Damn it. <laughs> Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Answer my questions and I'll let you go. Look, pal. Even pal? if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me... How about goodbye? You fuckers piss me off. I'm done with you. Harsh. He had it coming. Harsh? Yes. Do I care? At this point, no. I really don't. Ooh, data pad. The storage just holds a list of genetic information for the Ki Kirosa family? He's all over the place. What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. We think he's traveling through the ducts. I'm not paying you to think. Just find him now. Come on. She'll be throwing us to the dogs next. Excuse me. Oh. Good job. More Slarians? Are you guys all right in here? Get back. Get back. I'll shoot. Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you. But I Calm down. Hurt me? I hardly felt a thing. Tell him. Slow and easy. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? Shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Telen was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Definitely a Tell thing. Him, picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot with no collateral damage. Very impressive. <laughs> you know it's good when Garrus is impressed. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. Mm. If it doesn't throw you off, the mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. Penthouse. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. Okay, listen, I do feel a little bad for, for hitting him, but I literally do not have time for this. So don't poke a gun in my face, and I won't react like that, okay? There are still cool. marks up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. C. 
see he's fine. Can we go home now? Yes, you can go home. Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. Sorry for hitting him. But not really. I mean, he's not going to spend it. Listen, when you treat other people as poorly as you have, nobody's going to want to work with you. After me, damn it. No. It's about time. What's going on down there? I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond, Nisana. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't expecting so soon. So she's got an elite guard, huh? One can say a vanguard. Nice. Garrus, why did you move so far up? I'm just curious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she's for realsies. Okay, you're just... Again, these death noises are through their armor. hilarious. Scan a submachine gun. Oh, we're getting all the shit. That's oh, this. Ow. Who's that warp it's ammo? It seems pretty cool. Hey Jack, what you what you doing? What the hell am I paying you for? Shit, utter and complete I'm shit. Shit. Oh, honey, what you doing? Oh, honey. Yeah, but what you doing, girl? I don't, I don't know what the shit that was. Nice shooting. Thank you. Oh, are those turrets gone? <gasps> Fuck yes. Again, you say such things, but I don't believe you. Can't reach the target. Yes, you fucking can. Come here. Get out of here. Thank you. This bitch is definitely gonna get what's coming to her. Shepard, but you're dead. Oh, uh, not I anymore. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. You're really paranoid, aren't you? Don't patronize me, Shepard. Charming as ever. I'm sure you find this all very ironic. First you take care of my sister, and now you're here for me. Well, you made it this far. Now what? You really think I'm here to kill you? Do you have another reason for destroying my tower? Decimating my security? I'm just looking for someone. You expect me to believe that? Is it credits? Is that what you want? Just tell me your price. We can make this problem go away. How much do you have? I'm just going to keep her talking. Make an offer. Double whatever you're getting. And I'll pay double again if you tell me who hired you. What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You. Stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Hello? What an entrance. Okay. We sure she's dead? Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Amen to that. Maybe let's not interrupt him. For a few seconds? More? Maybe? Uh, 
came a long way to talk to you. One moment. Prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. A self-righteous assassin? Oh boy. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. How'd you know I was coming at all? I mean, Elusivan did contact him. I didn't. Not until you marched in the front door and started shooting. Nasana had become paranoid. You saw the strength of her guard force. She believed one of her sisters would kill her. You were a valuable distraction. I don't want to call him a bastard. I think that's fine. We literally talked with Serena and she said the exact same thing of you're going to be a welcome distraction from everything happening on. So Let's I don't cut really to care. the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the collectors? By reputation. Hmm. Well, you're going to get well acquainted with them with me, so. <laughs> They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. That will change. My ship will be the first. You'd like me to protect humans I've never met, from aliens no one knows anything about, by going to a place no one's ever returned from? When you put it that way. That's the gist of it. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. Are you sick? You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. Absolution, the damn, okay. Is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Well? Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I mean... I will work for you, Shepard. To be fair, no I didn't know it was even going to happen, so... I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Uh, what's the problem? Obviously he is, too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. <laughs> We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. Same. He may surprise you. Yeah. Yeah. And he may not. Everybody's so damn testy. Rupert, there's something different with tonight's meal. Seems like you put in more food and less ass. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Aha! Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. Normandy upgrades. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Yes, that'd be great. Let's see what they've got. A hundred percent probe capacity and additional probes. Oh, hell yeah. Def gonna do that. Do you need something? 
mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? so direct! Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. Yes, please. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What is it? What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. What? Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Shit. Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Can we help? Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Fair thank enough. you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. I mean, Dr. Chalk was is pretty cool, so... <gasps> There's Kasumi. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. <laughs> I haven't been in this room. Kasumi, you're so cool. In like a hot minute. Commander. What can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'd been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. But Jack. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. I saw your bases years ago. You were using Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your own army. The husks were already dead, the Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? With your intelligence, you could have landed any I don't know. you wanted. Why choose this? I don't know how I feel about this Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the Special Tasks group working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. The best thing he did was to put you on my squad. You'd have done fine without me. I may not have believed it before, but I don't have what you do. That fire that makes someone willing to follow you into hell itself. It is particular. It's not something easily trained, or given, or manifested. My father got me the best genes money could buy. Guess it wasn't enough. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. That's not true. You're not coasting on good genes, Miranda. No. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. It's application you, of talent, too. I appreciate that. You're not doing it because... I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. You're not doing this job because you feel 
that you're like you're ordered or compelled to like you want to do a good job because that's what matters to you you can't lessen yourself to just strands of dna and adaptability that's bullshit oof this writing is so good there's so much more to an authentic self self that doesn't have to do with what you're made of ever shepherd need me for something have you What's got up? a minute Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Anytime. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Whoever else? You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? <laughs> I hope not. I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. Fair. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. Of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. No big deal. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. <laughs> I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No yeah. way around that. Yep. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. I mean, I know it's going to be an uphill battle. Like, the Geth were one thing, but the Collectors are on a whole different level. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? God, I hope not. Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. <laughs> when a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Fuck politeness. How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? Tell me, tell With me. violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. Full-contact sparring? You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? That's... It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. Very. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. How'd it go? I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. <laughs> it was brutal. After nine rounds, nine the judge called rounds? Me to draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, <laughs> ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. Whoop! More than one way to work off stress, I guess. Whoop! We <clears throat> Okay, uh, um... I was not expecting that first answer there. Uh, is there, uh, any... Nope, okay. I mean, I have to, don't I? Well, I can't romance Jack, who I would actually like to romance. I can't romance Miranda, who, again, I would actually like to romance. Jacob's pretty meh. Um, at least he has more personality than Caden. Um, I don't think I'm with Liara anymore. So, oh, Lord. I am just I am just letting this hang in the air, aren't I? It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. Hold on! I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. <laughs> Not what I meant! <laughs> my face is so hot right now. Oh my god. Okay, everything's fine. Um, now we're going for it. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh my god! 
Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Oh, honey, always. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you. If we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. I can't believe that just happened. I flirted with Garrus, and Garrus not only accepted, but rose to the snarky challenge. Okay, all right. Whew. All right. Um, that happened. Okie dokie. I was not ex Okay, all right. Cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> oh, could I romance Tolly, though? <laughs> Wait, shit. It's fine. I regret nothing. It's fine. I'm starting to see why everybody picks Garrus and, and or likes Garrus because I was not expecting that at all. That, mm, yep. <sighs> okay, so Samara, the Justicar, we should probably go do the thing. Yep, definitely do that. Also gotta go ch check in on, on, on everybody else. I'm not having an existential crisis. You're having an existential crisis. It's fine. Also, I will. I do not want another confrontation scene, so I'm just we're ripping that band-aid off because the confrontation scene still gives me the heebies from Mass Effect One, and we're just we're just not doing it. We're just not doing it, friendos. Hey, tell me something I don't know about you. Nothing to tell. Why? I want to know more, and I'm not going away. I'm here to fight for you. Nothing says we have to be friends. But whatever. Something you don't know, huh? Obvious stuff, like what's up with my ink, or something else just as boring. <laughs> You're not really interested unless it affects you. I've been through all this shit before. What if I really care? It could be genuine. You have no way of knowing. I have eyes, and I have history. You'll back off. As soon as you realize you're not the first, and I'm immune to your help. You work pretty hard at not letting people get close. I've been with lots of people. If you're asking about a boyfriend or a girlfriend, no. It's a waste of time and it never works. You let someone get that close, it just means they need a shorter knife. Lonely and alive works just fine, thanks. You're tough, but you can't have survived alone all these years. When I was starting out, I ran with this girl Minara and her boyfriend. They knew their way around. I thought they'd help me. Right. They oh helped me into their bed, and when we finally did take down something big, they helped themselves to my share of the take. I knew where it was heading, and I got them first. Never bothered with friends after that. Ooh -wee. I'll bite. What's with the tattoos? Some are for prisons I've been in. Some are for kills. You know, good ones. Some are for things I've lost. Those aren't your business. They're nobody's business. And some are because, hey, why the fuck not? I have to go. But we should do this again. Wait. My turn with the questions. People usually walk by now. Why are you really asking all these things? What's your game, Shepard? I've never met anyone like you. Whatever. It'll come back to what you can take. It always does. Later, Shepard. Bye! Alright, let's go chat with Grunt. See what our... I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass. <gasps> oh, they're so funny. All right, Mr. Grunt, you got anything? Shepard. Just checking in. How are you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. Mm. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Asari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Mm. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. I love 
grunt. Oh my god, he's so funny. Except for when he calls me an idiot, but you know. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. But you became strong. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. He's like a Krogan that's like stuck in the aspirations and the love of poets. Like, oh my God. I just adore him. I just adore him to endless, endless bits. Profound. I think that's the word I'm, I wanted to search for. He just has, he cares so much about things that Krogan's, I'm sure, do care about, but he can voice them in a way that is just stupendous. How can I help? What's up? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Whoa, tell, tell me! What happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination, can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. That makes sense. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental oh. capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Can, is there anything we can do to help them? Yeah. No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. Oh. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? Unfortunately. Oh, no culture closer to husks than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors just final insult. Must be destroyed. I, I agree. What is it about the Collector's modifications that bothers you so much? Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Mm. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for spaceflight. Technological advance. Krogan could have evolved alone. Worked out aggression. Been ready to use new tech responsibly. Oh, wow. Instead, Solarians came. Disrupted Krogan culture. Used Krogan as blunt instrument against Rachni. Short-sighted. Foolish. You said the Collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Personal interest negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic expression reflects philosophical evolution. Interest in growth, perspective, observation, interpretation. But that's why Suspect art is important. any art in collector base. Culturally dead. Tools for reapers. Worse than the Geth. You sang? I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? Yes. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert, which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. Oh my God, Morden, you are so fucking adorable. I love you so much. I didn't oh, my heart. More motivation than you already had to stop the collectors. 
Enjoyed challenge. Saw a necessity of attack on collectors after Plague on Omega. Their mm -hmm. work, my people. Mm -hmm. Hard to care about two armies, one wins, one loses, always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before, don't mean to imply that, just committed now. Won't let you down. Oh my god. You are, Morden, you are just the cutest. The cutest, cutest being. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morden. Proud to be here, Shepard. Thank you for including me. Oh my god. Nobody can die. Not a single person. Do you understand me? I don't care what decisions need to be made. I will die instead of all of these people. It's, it's just, that's just how it's going to be. I know, I know you are watching this and going in the background and doing all those things. This game is going to rip my fucking heart out. <sighs> oh my God. I don't think I'm ready. I mean, I am ready, but I'm not ready. Okay, we're gonna keep talking to people. One second. 